Transformers were two massive phase shifting units uh, uh, they were ordered uh, by uh, Pacifico or Rocky Mountain Power from a Chinese manufacturer in uh, Baoding, south of uh, Beijing. One of the units uh, was in excess of 380 tons, the other one in excess of 360 tons, uh, plus a, uh, a connecting uh, uh, piece. This is the project actually started in 2012. The Pinto substation has been in existence since the early 1970s. This new uh, phase shifting transformer is going to increase the capacity for the company to bring uh, in uh, increased amounts of electricity to serve customers, as well as provide an interconnection point for some of the renewable generating resources that are seeking to connect to the electrical grid. The transit states, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah, that our load was, uh, our loads were actually the heaviest ever permitted over the road. And it'll weigh in excess, a uh, total weight of 1.8 million pounds. It took us almost one and a half years, uh, the planning stage, uh, the engineering, uh, the, the, the service that had to be conducted, the evaluation of, uh, of, of all of the transport components. After the transport was organized from uh, the manufacturing plant in Baoding to Tianjin, uh, the first hurdle was actually already in China because we had a, uh, the explosion that happened in the port of Tianjin at that time. But we only have seven days to catch up the vessel or we will have big problems. We coordinate with the local transport department and the local police and to block the traffic and let our trailer to move. We take only five days from the manufacturer to, 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 to the port. Once in Houston, uh, we discharge the transformers directly with ships here to our waiting rail cars. One of the uh, crucial points why UTC got involved is because we had a 16 axle rail car uh, that uh, could accommodate the large 380 tons unit on its deck. We're the only 16 axle 40 foot deck car. The transformer was 39 foot uh, 11 and a half inches. Less than half an inch clearance on the deck on each side of the of the load. Competitors had to use a 20 axle car for this move, which would have cost uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars more. From the port of Houston, um, uh, we moved the, car, the, the transformers and special train to Thoreau in New Mexico, which was the closest rail spur that we deemed as uh, the most suitable um, and as close as we can get it to uh, the, uh, the, the final, final destination at Monticello in uh, Utah. We uh, contacted the BNSF Railroad, uh, sent them uh, drawings of the load with uh, critical dimensions and also the weights uh, that they would be seeing on their rail. Uh, BNSF clearance team would then, with computers, go through that routing and check the dimensions and also check the weights. So this, this, was the, this was the toughest challenge, I think, uh, was to select the right rail route to connect to the right heavy haul route. Uh, this particular one, they had a lot of bridges they had to check and uh, one reason we're going to Thoreau is, is because just past Thoreau there's a bridge that this, this uh, weight could not pass across. We'll then put it on a girder trailer and travel from there to Monticello, Utah.
This is a Trail King built trailer. It can, it can haul a million pound piece. Uh, it's uh, good for about 90 feet in the hole between the wheels and about 22 feet wide. It's kind of like a big erector set, so it's kind of self-explanatory. This, this goes here, this goes there. This is a hands-on experience. You don't, yeah, you don't read this in a book. You don't, <laughs> you're not bored with it. It's just a hands-on and learning over the years. We have some uh, guys here that have been here over, over 25, 30 years. We, we took the northern route out of Thoreau, uh, through the Indian Territory, got all the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the permits from the states, the, the uh, Bureau of Land uh, uh, Management, as well as uh, uh, Bureau of Indian Affairs. At the Railspur, we had to get out of the Railspur area itself with uh, such a long load. This was uh, quite a challenge. Um, uh, we had uh, to uh, make sure that we had police and private escorts available in all three transiting states at the time when we needed it. And to accommodate such a long trailer we had uh, uh, with the axle configurations that we needed uh, to distribute the weight and the tractors needed uh, to, to push and pull the loads, uh, we were at about over 400 feet of length. The problem with, with this, the size of a, a unit like this is parking places and so you're, you've got to plan it from parking to parking. So you can imagine that, uh, that there's not uh, readily available uh, parking lots uh, to, to pull out and, uh, and park, the, park the moves uh, overnight. The biggest challenges here are the steep grades up and down. It's because this whole project is traction based to pull these hills and so it's, it's, uh, it's dry weather. I can, we can stay on the cold if we have to, but it's dry roads. We had up to eight push trucks uh, to, to load that, uh, uh, these large uh, transformers uh, up the mountain. It's all done by uh, RPM and boost, is how you make one of these and communication. It starts from the lead truck and it goes right back to the last push truck. Once we uh, uh, made it to Monticello, uh, we have uh, uh, moved the units to a smaller a, a, a hydraulic transporter system. The road trailer would have been way too big and too long to to accommodate uh, uh, to accommodate us at the site. So we had to uh, transfer to a smaller trailer and to go the last couple of miles from a from a fairgrounds in Monticello to uh, the substation uh, of uh, uh, Rocky Mountain Power there. Uh, we had to transload, of course, again the uh, transformers uh, from uh, the, the hydraulic uh, transporter or the hydraulic trailer to the foundation. Um, and uh, both pieces together with its uh, central section had to be unloaded uh, to one large uh, foundation. We, we advised and targeted uh, 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 as a delivery date uh, Thanksgiving of 2015. We delivered most of the cargo before that Thanksgiving holiday and then just completed the delivery the week after Thanksgiving, which in our view is a major success in considering what was all involved on the planning phase, the execution of three different means of transportation, as well as the rigging portion and not to mention weather-related delays. Uh, this was teamwork, clearly, uh, between the various offices that were involved, UTC Shanghai and UTC Houston. Uh, within Houston, we have a rail team uh, uh, that, uh, that handles uh, transformer moves, uh, and specifically by rail. Uh, we have a new uh, rail car uh, that uh, was instrumental to obtaining this job. We had a heavy hauler in China that uh, was instrumental for the uh, FOB delivery in uh, Tianjin, as well as uh, a very well organized and uh, uh, professional uh, uh, heavy hauler and rigger here in the States. But one of the very few uh, truckers that could actually handle a move like this in terms of uh, trailer capacity. UTC Shanghai, UTC Xiu Sidun, made a huge contribution. Thank you.